my name is Braden Fisher, and I was a drafter, um, schedulist, and estimator in this project. Uh, hi, I'm Taylor DeLong. I was a drafter and an estimator. And Mr. Sutton came across this project, and uh, we have taken courses in Revit, and we haven't <clears throat> we haven't really gotten to do much with it. So when he came to us with this, we saw it as a great opportunity to take what we've learned in class um, and do something with it, like a real world a real world example of um, applying what we've learned into that so so uh, the location for this project is uh 100 hedrick road uh it's located in holly springs north carolina uh the postal code is 27540 uh it's located in the honeycutt farm community and it's uh in the wake county schools jurisdiction um and just a few things that we had to take into account on this project is uh definitely the location uh a lot of the local specs and state specs differ a lot from Indiana, such as, you know, when uh, the wind speeds, they pick up a lot faster than they do here in Indiana. Uh, they don't receive as much snow and uh, it's typically a lot warmer. So, yeah. So a little bit of information on the house we have uh, for the first floor, we have 1621 and a half square footage of livable space. For the second floor, we have 2,100 square footage of livable space. And then for the total square footage, we have 4,200, and that's including the two-car garage. Uh, we have a total of five bathroom and two and a half, or I'm sorry, five bedroom and two and a half bathroom. Um, if you look, we have uh, um, on the first floor plan, you walk in through the front door, and there's a study room to the left and a dining room to the right. Uh, if you keep walking, there's a great room, so that could be used as like a, a uh, living room. Um, and then they have a breakfast area, so you could put like a dining room table or a kitchen table or something over there to eat at. And the fifth bedroom is over to the right of the kitchen with the bathroom. And then if you go up the stairs, to the right, you have the second, third, and fourth bedroom. And then to your left, you have a media room. So that's kind of like an extra room. You can use it for anything you need. And they do have the laundry um, and a bathroom for up here. And then uh, if you walk all the way to the end, to your left, you have a master bedroom with a master bathroom and a walk-in closet. So uh, the weather in the area lookout uh, for Holly Springs, uh, the average summer high is around 89 degrees with the average winter low being about 29. Uh, the frost depth is uh, 12 inches below grade. Uh, back to what we were talking about earlier uh, with specs being much different than uh, Indiana. The frost depth here is actually 36 inches below and uh, which is actually a third of what, well, three times what uh, North Carolina's is. Uh, our seismic category is C and the snowfall averages around four inches a year. And the rainfall is about 46.6, .6, making it a much more wet place than Indiana. So for the scheduling, we have the start date set for March 1st of 2021, the projected finish date at September 30th, 2021, for a total of seven months and 147 days. When we were making the schedule, we took into account that not everything goes as planned. Um, a lot of times, you know, your plumber might be scheduled for a week, but he might not be able to come in for another week. And one thing that we've been doing is through school, we have an internship. So um, like today and Friday are the only two days we'll be here. And then we work the other three days and we get to work out in the field. And that's where we were able to use some of our field experience into doing all of this. Um, like I know we, um, I work for a plumber and we'll go out to a job and it might take longer. So then it'll take longer to get to the other job. So you have to be able to work with all of your trades and we put in a little extra time so that um, we have leeway for all of the stuff you aren't expecting. So uh, our materials and our cost um, 
so we got the lot price from the project uh, uh, explanation or project problem uh, at 130,000. Um, our permits, so temporary water, temporary electricity, getting all that hooked up for our house uh, cost about $1,026. Um, we found that out by going on to Wake County's uh, government website and actually figuring out the fees to their uh, uh, their permits. Um, and our engineering and architecture design cost about $1,000. Um, so that brings our total cost to like $358,020 with about 2.5% real estate commission of about 8950 So, yeah. And we used Home Depot to find all of our pricing. And then we would like to give a thank you to the Home Builders Association of Fort Wayne. They were the, um, they sponsored us so that we could enter in this um, competition. Autodesk, Revit was the um, program we used, and then you guys, the NAHB, for hosting this competition. So then we click stop sharing so that stop sharing. We should be good. Got, un got unmute. All right, now are you ready for questions? Yeah. Like, are you the only two guys that were on the team or uh, did yeah, you have other team members? It was just us yeah, two. Just us okay. Two. Okay. Um, yeah. My name is Kerry Slattery. I'm a, a consultant for NAHP. We've been working for this, with them for the last six years on the competitions. We used to uh, teach construction management at a couple of universities around the, the Midwest. So uh, uh, just got, you know, a couple things here. First of all, um, just want to ask, you know, what COVID-19 restrictions has your school been under? And how did you organize your teamwork to be able to manage these additional challenges? Um, so we, our restrictions haven't really been too much this year. We haven't really been under too many restrictions this year, um, per se. Like the only restrictions we have is, you know, if you're in contact with someone who has been diagnosed with COVID, then you must quarantine for 10 days. Um, Which neither of us have had to go through that. Yeah, yeah, no, neither of us have gone through that. Um, we always wear masks in, in school around people who we know, well, we don't know. Um, and so we're always just looking out for other people, I guess. And um, just, yeah, it's it's usually, it's honestly been about the same. Okay. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's something that's varying across the country. So yeah, it's just interesting that right. you know, yeah. right. all schools, yeah. all places are going to have a different experience with that. Um, second thing is, you know, some of the construction material prices have been very volatile since last spring. So I just want to know what you know sure. price fluctuations you observed and how did they affect your estimate? Oh yeah, um, so definitely uh, we noticed that lumber uh, has risen. The prices of lumber have risen since COVID started. Um, so we really wanted to make sure that we made sure when we were looking for lumber and um, material prices that we were in Wake County, North Carolina. Like yeah. when we were shopping online, we made sure that our store was the closest to Holly Springs or Wake County. That way we could make sure that we were getting the best price for that area rather than here in Indiana. Prices here in Auburn, Indiana were much different than over in oh, okay. Wake County. Higher or lower? Uh, lower, actually. Lower, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of building going in North Carolina. So yeah, uh, right. um, they're still higher than what they've normally been. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think everything's about double. I think. And I guess I haven't checked lately. It hasn't really come down any yet. I don't think. We we built the house a couple of years ago, and we're uh, we're glad we did uh, before yeah, right. prices yeah, went yeah, up. For sure. So, yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Material. We've kind of learned that material is hard to come by. Yeah, especially now. yeah. Even at, uh, yeah, even up in Indiana. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, other question is, you know. I find yeah, I taught construction management. I've taught estimating and scheduling each at least once, but you know we, we found that the you know the greatest challenge to estimating and scheduling is usually determining the worker productivity. So how did you yeah. determine your production rates for the you know primary construction activities like framing and roofing? So uh, actually, our Mr. Sutton uh, he used to own his own construction business, and he used to uh, subcontract out people. And uh, our construction trades teacher also used to uh, own his own business. So when it came to stuff like that, we really talked to them 
and kind of got a general idea of how long it should take. And um, if they're on task the entire time, like the whole time they're out on our site, they're 100% on task. And then we took into account that there's not everybody's going to be doing that. Yeah. So yeah. then we, we just put on a little bit more time in our schedule, like, like he said, for stuff that <clears throat> we're not playing for. And like for me, um, I know he works in the office, but I'm out in the field um, working for a plumber. And I've, I mean, I've seen almost every trade. There's always people that aren't, I mean, they do their work, but they slack off a lot or they might take instead of a half hour lunch, they might take an hour and a half. Or if it's cold out, they might go sit in the truck for an hour and warm up. So um, it just really depends on who it is and um, who who's working for you. And we just took that into consideration so that if that is the case they still have time <clears throat> you guys kind of just look at like how many days do the plumbing how many days do the framing you looked at it from that right right, right. yeah okay yeah. yeah so how many days does it take to do the plumbing on this house when he's when he's working for a plumber right yeah yeah he yeah. Does. Work for a plumber. Right. yeah how many how many days do you figure for the plumbing plumbing uh we have the paper right here okay. i can't remember off the top of my head yeah For, for the rough end, we figured five days, which is for a residential house. I think that's a little um, pretty lenient. Like that's that gives them a little bit of extra time. Okay. And uh, finished plumbing will put four days. So like putting in all of your fixtures and um, you know sinks, washer dryer, dishwasher. Yeah. So. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys.